Welcome to the Adventures in Alchemy podcast, where we share tips, techniques, and true stories to support you in using the law of attraction and alchemy to create magic and live the life of your dreams. Here's your host, the founder of DailyAlchemy.com, Michelle Martin Dobbins. Hey guys, it's Michelle Martin Dobbins from DailyAlchemy.com, and this is another episode of Adventures in Alchemy. And today I want to talk to you about an extremely controversial topic right now in the U.S. and most of the rest of the world is watching in as well. The presidential election, right? It's coming up and people are scared and they're freaking out. (laughs) And I talked on another podcast how I kind of got sucked into the election drama and how it was not a good place for me and I got physically sick at the same time and you know a lot of different things just a perfect storm there of craziness but I knew I had to shift my perspective and get myself to a happy place about this election and I wanted to help you do that too because I want to tell you some stories that I used to have about the president and how that has helped me over the years and how I think it can help it can help you too if you make those decisions. One thing I'm a big fan of Abraham Hicks and if you've listened to Abraham Hicks you know that you know what everybody else does out there in the world does not matter what matters is where your vibration is and what you think. So I've always thought like I've always been one to vote in elections. It was kind of something that I was trained was a really, you know, my parents always did. So I always vote and I vote the gamut. I am not partial to one party. I vote whatever, whoever seems the best to me, whoever. That's just kind of, I'm a feeling intuitive person. So in my gut, if I feel like that person's the best choice, that's what I go with. And that person isn't always the winner. Sometimes they have been, sometimes they haven't. I voted ever since I've been 18. Some of the winners I've been like, yeah. And some I've been like, eh. But I've realized that I get to choose how to live my life. And I don't have to buy into hysteria over about a president. I don't have to, you know, oh, they're going to tank the economy. Well, that doesn't have to happen to me. I can choose. In every bad economy, guess what? There are people who thrive. In every time where bad things are happening, wars and this and that, there are people who thrive. And I do not say that to put down people who are not thriving. We all do the best that we can with what we're given. And I do like to remember that Abraham Hicks sometimes talks about some people need that or they at least that's what they've decided makes them feel alive and energetic is to fight against something. I personally prefer peace. So peace is what I focus on. And it's not that I'm not aware that, that, you know, we can do things to improve our world, but this is the vision that I like to create and follow any guided, inspired guidance of action to take from there. And that vision is a vision of different people coming together for a common goal, actually not just on our, in our country, but on the planet that we can all be diverse and enjoy our own cultures, religions, not religions, whatever. And that, you know, life can just be always ever steadily improving. And that's not to say that there aren't going to be areas of conflict, but I try to remember that those areas of conflict and negativity can be contrast that leads us to what we do want. Like Abraham Hicks tells us that You know, when we see what we don't want, it makes us ask even deeper for what we do want. And then we get in alignment with that. And I know you might be thinking, that's pretty naive. You can't change the whole world with your thoughts. I can change my world with my thoughts. And I feel like the more of us who are realizing that we can change the world with our thoughts, the more the world is going to change. The higher the mass consciousness vibration is, the more smooth life's going to go. It doesn't mean there's never going to be conflicts or problems, but I know we'd all, we'd all, most of us would choose to live in a world with less pain, less war, less fighting and struggling against each other. So 
all that to come to say, I said, how do we get the perfect president? And y'all know there's no perfect person, right? And there's no perfect president. So what I like to do and what I've been doing to change all my stress and worry is to actually take time to send, I send love, I send Reiki, I send white light. I envision all of the candidates. And for me, that includes third party, but I, I envision all of them bathed in white light, getting guidance from above, and just being surrounded in love. And I'm not say that's an easy thing to do because I, there were some candidates that I really disliked. And I decided, you know, what we resist persists. So what if I could not necessarily like certain aspects of things that they've done, actions, but what if I could just send them love? And the more people I think that are sending love to this process, the better results that we could get. And I also try to take, I'll, I'll put a link in the show notes. There's a, a blog post that Jeanette Ma, the Good Vibe blog, wrote about how everybody thinks, everybody believes that they're the good guy, right? And in our country, Republicans, Democrats, Libertarian, Green Party, those are the main parties that I really know about. They all believe that they're the good guys, right? And there are good elements to all of them, you know, and and there are probably bad elements to all of them. Or, you know, I just, uh, I think that I feel for the president's show campaign candidates, excuse me, because every little thing that they say is micromanaged and taken into different contexts. And it's really interesting for me just to try to detach and not think about who I like and who I don't like and what, but just see all the reactions on all sides of it. And I'm thinking we're running this campaign, this election season where we're just looking at the negatives on like it seems like we're trying to see who it can find the most dirt on and that you know the winner is who has the least dirt but what if we could just have some compassion for all of them and i can hear people saying oh this one doesn't deserve compassion this one doesn't deserve but let's just stop for a minute and do this not for them but for you because when you're filled with hate and anger and fear about somebody It's really hard to make good progress in your own life. And it's really hard to get that inspired action of what to do to make things better because you're in that stuck negative place yourself. So I'm going to invite you guys to try to take a few minutes, you know, do this once, do it every day. I don't do it every day, but I try to limit my news exposure, but I try to do this at least once a week because, you know, it's, it's everywhere right now, all these messages about this person, that person, what they've done. And my thought is by sending white light and Reiki and loving energy to them, A, I am letting go of any negative, negative thoughts that I have about them for the most part. I'm really trying to detach from those, from having those negative emotions. And I'm not saying I don't feel them, but I feel them and then I let them go and try to focus just on being loving to them. And whether or not that love ever reaches them, it reaches me. And I am lifted up and I am able to be more present in my life because I'm not carrying around those negative emotions. And I can be more beneficial to the world. It doesn't mean you don't do anything. And it doesn't mean you don't go vote for the person you like. And it doesn't mean that you don't try to support policies. But I think once you get to that point of letting go of the hate and the anger and just focusing on what feels good, what would feel good to see in politics and and look at that. And how can I support that and support that in whatever way you're inspired to? And that's where you make a change. And if lots of people are doing that and sending love and sending positive thoughts and vibrations to these elected officials, I can't think that it wouldn't eventually affect them. Would it change them and how they interact and what their thoughts and beliefs are? 
you know, I don't know. But over the long haul, you know, everybody wants to be cared for. And I think even presidential candidates, <laughs> as much as we love to hate them, it's probably better for us to love them. We don't have to love what they do. We don't have to love their actions, but it will shift something inside of you when you, if you let go of any anger that you have and hate. And if you're not a political person and this is not something that stirs up anything for you, that is very bueno, very good. But um, you can still do this. If you have somebody who irks you, be it a public figure, be it someone that you know, be it one of the other PTA moms, be it someone who's on your soccer team or someone that you who have to work with, a coworker. Spend some time sending them white light, love. If you do healing energy work, do that for them. And, and in a way that, you know, not to push it on them, just as I usually say, that this person will accept this light and love if they want it. And if not, it will go where it's needed. Because some people do feel bad about sending reikier things to people who they don't necessarily have permission for. My thought is if it's okay to pray for somebody, then it's, it's okay to send that. And, you know, it will, um, it will be accepted or not accepted by them. And they, that can happen on an unconscious level without them ever knowing. But The thing is, when you let go of that hate and that anger or that just fear or what, you know, any negativity around these persons who push your button, then you are going to have a higher vibration and you are going to make better choices and you are going to have more inspired actions. And that leads to improvements in your life and probably the lives of people around you because it all seems to kind of ripple out. So give it a try. I know it's not easy. I know, I know. But if you can actually get to the point where you can feel love and like maybe don't always start with love, maybe just start with let me just try to tolerate them or feel neutral towards them and kind of build up. If you can get to the point where you can feel love, feel like sending good energy to someone that you don't like, like a presidential candidate, it's it is such a boost for your own vibration. So give it a try. Let me know how it works or let me know if you think I'm totally crazy. I I understand that probably a lot of you might, but my, my desire is to create happiness in my life and not by hiding away from the negativity in the world, but by focusing on what's already good in the world and creating more of that. That's what I can do. That's in, in my power. And it's in your power too. So go out and give it a try. Have a magical day. Namaste and big hugs to everyone. Would you like some help creating more magic in your life? I've got a ton of freebies and goodies for you. They're all tucked away inside my magical freebie vault. You can get free access though. You just have to go to www.dailyalchemy.com forward slash magical dash freebie dash vault. Again, that's dailyalchemy.com forward slash magical dash freebie dash vault. And when you get there, you can just plug in your name and email and you will get instant access to all kinds of goodies. There are daily and weekly manifesting planners, the how to shift your vibe in five minutes e-kit that has audios and a workbook. There are moon manifesting planners and daily love lists and money trackers and all kinds of goodies right there. I didn't want to make you have to go to a bunch of different pages and sites and wait for certain freebies to come out. So I just took all of my freebies and put them in one place where you could just sign up one time and download any of them that you want at any time that you needed. So you can just head on over to dailyalchemy.com forward slash magical dash freebie dash vault and download them today. Have a magical day. Thanks for listening to the Adventures in Alchemy podcast. Connect with me on the dailyalchemy.com or Facebook at facebook.com slash Michelle Dobbins author. 
Join us next time for even more magical life tips.